Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Deer Park, Texas. Deer Park is located just east of Houston, and we are just outside of Beltway 8, and this is 2401 Estate Drive. That's 2401 Estate Drive. This is a charming little three-bedroom, one-bath home. The garage has been converted. It is approximately 1,329 square feet. It was built in 1957. It sits on about a 7,000 square foot lot, and it has a lot of potential. It's actually priced about a hundred, uh, actually about a thousand dollars underneath the county appraisal, but I think there's a lot of value, a lot of equity here, and it's pretty reasonably priced considering the homes in the area. The exterior of this home is brick, and there is some wood siding, as you can probably tell. Some of the fascia here along the roof has been replaced, and there's some evidence of some wood rot. So you're probably going to want to repaint and repair some of the fascia, some of the soffit. But I do love that it is mostly brick around the exterior. That's uh, it's nice to have brick around the exterior. It's a very low maintenance um, exterior, maybe an occasional power washing. You can see they kind of did a cheap job of patching some of the fascia. It does have original windows, so you might want to replace that. But this is a nice older established neighborhood. If you're not looking for a particularly large home, maybe a starter home, this could be a great option for you. A little bit of mildew on the bottom of the paint, but a nice big tall tree in the front little kind of a porch area here so let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside well we step into the backyard off of the back of the garage and it's a pretty standard size yard all four sides of the home are brick as you saw on the front where the garage has been converted there is a little bit of wood there but exterior wise in decent condition the roof actually looks like it's in okay shape really just needs a little bit of fascia and soffit work on the exterior and maybe clean up a little of the brick where they hit it with a paintbrush. And then, obviously, let's look at this door. This frame around the door here does show evidence of some water penetration, some wood rot, so you probably want to replace that, but that's real easy to do. Let's look at the inside. Well, when we step into the home, we're immediately into the original living room. As you can see, it does have wood floors. They need to be refinished, but I think they would look amazing. One thing to note as we step into the living room, you'll notice the ceiling is damaged over here on this far right side, but I'll show you that in one second. If we turn to the left here, this is where they converted the garage into an additional living space. One thing I like that they did was they built up the floor. A lot of times when people convert a garage, they leave it lower, but they built up the floor here. So I think that's nice. It's almost seamless, a second large living area. This room's gonna need painting and flooring. And then if we look down at the bottom of the window here on this stool, there is evidence of some damage. They probably had a little dog that would potentially bite and chew on the wood. So we come over into your original living room. You'll notice that a lot of the sheetrock is missing in the attic, so in uh, the ceiling here, so you wanna replace that. That's actually pretty easy to do. You do wanna repair or replace these beams here. And uh, you have a kind of a unique little living room because you have a small little nook here by these windows. And I absolutely love this corner, the way they did these windows here. I think it gives you a lot of natural lighting and it's, it's a really pretty space. We then come over into your kitchen. So it's a decent sized kitchen, decent amount of countertop space. And then you have a dining room at this end over here. Now, one nice thing about the dining room is that it goes over down this hallway into the bedrooms. So it's a decent sized kitchen, not a big kitchen, but for a starter home, it's not bad. At the far end over here at the back of the garage that they converted, they left this space, which is your washer and dryer connections uh, right here. You know, your washer connections. You have this door that takes you out to the backyard. We have a setup, a hookup for your electric dryer, your water heater in here. So it's additional storage and potentially attic access space in here. Now, if we come down the hallway here from the living room, we come over to bedroom number one at the back of the home. This bedroom also does have original wood floors underneath this carpet, which is nice. And it does have some sheetrock damage, and I would suggest replacing the windows. Windows like this, you can probably get for about $150 to $200 at Lowe's. We actually just replaced a whole bunch of windows in a property that we're working on. So it's not a terribly hard thing to do, but definitely I would suggest upgrading the windows. Continue down the hallway and 
we come over here to full bathroom number one, your one and only bathroom, which is a shower and tub combo. You have a basic single vanity and your shower and tub combo here. I'm just gonna need some work there. And then if we pan up, you'll notice that they did have some ceiling damage in here. I'm not sure why that was opened up, but you have a nice little linen closet here right behind the door. Right next to that, we have bedroom number two at the front right of the home. It's gonna need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Right now it has carpet, but I, if it was me, I'd pull out all of this carpet. It probably has original wood floors underneath it all. And then bedroom number three, which is right at the front of the home, and it's gonna also need flooring and painting and potentially windows. So that's about a beautiful home. This home is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. It's a great starter home. Let me give you a summary. There you have it, 2401 Estate Drive. That's 2401 Estate Drive out in Deer Park, Texas. A charming little three-bedroom, one-bath home. Does need some work, but it is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. It's listed right now for only $110,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.